Welcome to Council Connection. I'm Dick White, Mayor and Durango City Councilor. This program is designed to give you a snapshot of happenings at the most recent Durango City Council meeting. This time we look at the July 5th meeting. Our meeting began with three presentations. The first declared July 5th through 12th Four Corners Gem and Mineral Club Week. The club's president reflected on part of their past. It's with great humbleness and pleasure that I accept this proclamation on behalf of our club. We've been part of La Playa County's history for over 70 years. Uh, prior to that, I'd like to say that um, we were, our members have always been involved in rocks, gemology, and gems itself. Um, one of our notable past members of our, of our club is um, Olga Little. Olga was a mule packer who transported supplies in and out of La Plata County Canyon back in 1909, who in 1958 was featured on the TV show, This Is Your Life, and she was here promoting our town, Durango. The second was a proclamation in support of Durango's application to become a certified small business community in Colorado. There are more than 3,000 small businesses registered in the city of Durango, and they play a critical role in our local economy especially through the services they offer and those they employ. Lastly, Council adopted a resolution recognizing the courageous effort of Kevin Abeda in the rescue of a mother and two children in the Tercero townhouse fire of June 14th. Mr. Abeda, a longtime Durango resident and co-owner of Los Amigos del Sur Mexican restaurant, perished in the fire. Some family and friends were at the Council meeting to accept the proclamation. I just regret that that had to happen, but uh stuff happens. Sometimes good stuff and sometimes really bad stuff. Our consent agenda consisted of seven mostly routine items including requests for several public hearings at the July 18th meeting. During public participation Miley Kane, president of Friends of the Library, announced a juried photo competition in honor of a highly active former member of the organization, the late Layla Boyer. A lot of people didn't know that she was really a photographer and loved to uh, do wildlife and set up, uh, you know, very complicated things trying to, to just get that one photo. So in honor of her, we're going to have this contest. And um, there will be a monetary reward from $150 to $650. And we hope to encourage more uh, photographers here in Durango to enter this contest. Details on the competition can be found at the library's website, durangopubliclibrary.org, and by clicking on About and then Friends of the Library. We had no quasi-judicial or legislative hearings. During council reports and actions, I took a moment to thank members of the Durango Fire Protection District as well as others for the quick and successful response to the Leitner Creek Fire June 29th through July 3rd. There are also some upcoming events you might find interesting. Among these, the Fort Lewis College Concert Hall at the Park Series continues every Thursday evening 5.30 to 7 at Buckley Park through July 28th. In addition, Music in the Mountains returns to the Big Tent at Purgatory and other venues for their 31st season. There are more than 20 concerts and other events on the schedule July 10th through July 30th. For all the details, visit musicinthemountains.com. City Council's next study session will be Tuesday, July 11th at 4 p.m. Among items on the agenda are an update of our sustainability action plan and a discussion about improving lighting in the Central Business District. Our next regular council meeting will be Tuesday, July 18th at 6.30 p.m. And that's Council Connection for the July 5th Durango City Council meeting. I'm City Councilor and Mayor Dick White. Thanks for joining us. And remember, you can always contact your city councilors via email at citycouncil at durangogov.org.